What's going on everybody? Tanner here with another video. Hope you're all having a great day. And this is my 2018 rewind of my five greatest accomplishments within 2018. So let's go ahead and get started. Right off of the bat, January 12th of 2018, I bought my first ever car, a brand new Porsche 718 Cayman. Now, this is something I had dreamed of for a long time, and I had always manifested this. I had it as backgrounds on my computer, on my phone. This is something I had always wanted. I spent time looking at Porsches online, and I knew that one day I was going to buy one, and my goal was to buy one when I was 16 years old, and I did that. Exactly 10 days before I turned 17, I bought my first car, a brand new Porsche, which I was super excited about, which in hindsight probably wasn't the best idea, buying a brand new car right off the lot, because I instantly lost money, but I love the car so much. I've already put almost 15,000 miles on it, and I haven't even been here for half the time. So I definitely drive the car a ton, and I'm enjoying it, and that was definitely one of my greatest achievements of this year, which started out right at the beginning of 2018. Number two, I went on my first private jet. this whole social media thing I had no idea of how to make money with it or if I wanted to make money with it but I would always see these Instagram pages of people flying on jets driving cool cars and I thought that's something I would never achieve until I made it a reality in my mind that I knew this was going to happen and I believed that it was going to happen and I planned it out all exactly in my mind and I was able to make friends with a guy named Trevor Burke who I'm now close friends with we made it on the we plane made it finally. We're ready to go it's like one of the fastest jets Yes, definitely. Challenger 300 moves fast. And he has some connections with private jets. And we were able to go on a private jet from here in Greensboro, North Carolina, where I live, to Miami, Florida, where I also live now. So that experience was honestly just so surreal. Private jets, it's a little bit overrated. Honestly, the best part about it is just the convenience of not having to go through security and wait for boarding and things like that. But flying on that jet for the first time was something that just motivated me. It made me see the potential of that you know, one day I'm going to own a private jet like that. That is a $20 million private jet, a uh, Citation 10. It's a pretty big plane. And I know one day I will own one of those. And it woke me up to realize that there's so much more out there to achieve. Just buying a little car that costs $60,000, my Porsche brand new, is not something crazy. But buying a $20 million jet is something that is very crazy. As Grant Cardone has said before, you can fake buying a Lambo, but you can't fake buying a private jet. So from that point on, in March, when I went on my first private jet, I was able to go on a bunch more private jets, which was honestly super exciting, and I'm glad I was able to do it all for free, thanks to my friend Trevor Burke. Number three, I was able to meet a lot of cool people, including Ed Bolian. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I never fancied myself much of a storyteller. And while I use it facetiously most of the time, it does sort of encapsulate a lot of the attitudes and strategies that I use. Grant Cardone. Hey, Grant. Hey, Casey. Good to meet you. Nice 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 to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah. Casey Adams. My boy Casey Adams. You don't know Casey Adams. He's a 17-year-old entrepreneur also. Moosecraft. George. What are you doing? 
tons of other YouTubers, tons of different influencers that I was able to meet. You know, people I had never met before, Hayden Bowles. You guys don't know about me and Hayden. I've known Hayden for a while now, like one or two years. Like he sort of got me into YouTube and actually starting a channel. Gibby, stop being loud. I'm trying to film a video here. Me and him do very similar stuff, but I didn't even meet him until this year. As my boy Casey Adams would say, your network is your net worth. If you are networking and meeting new people on a consistent basis, you're losing money, you're losing business, you're losing potential. Making connections and meeting new people, whether they're going to benefit you or not, just going out there and meeting people was something that really changed my life by traveling. So going and meeting new people, whether it's a local business event or flying across the country to go to a business event and meet some people you always wanted to meet and then make that connection with them. Don't be a fan. Just be someone that you respect them and then build that mutual friendship and then maybe an eventual partnership. You may never know who you need in a business. So that's why it's great to always network and build your connections. Number four, something that was pretty crazy for me was being able to travel to 10 different major cities over the summer and meet tons of cool people. My parents had always been pretty strict on me as far as traveling by myself. And over the summer, they allowed me to go where I wanted to and basically do what I want. I bought all these plane tickets. I didn't have any plans. I didn't know who I was going to stay with. I just bought these tickets because I knew something positive was going to come out of this. Going to the West Coast for the first time, going to a bunch of cities I'd never been to, including Miami, Florida. San Francisco, California. This is sort of my view right now out of the window, you know, not too much. I'm in downtown. In the heart of downtown, there's actually like a seven-story mall, about 50 feet that way. Los Angeles, California. They are very hot. Oh, <laughs> shocking. Everything I touch shocks me here. That's it. This is my boy, Bat. He's big with ATM business. Punching bags. Las Vegas, Nevada. Phoenix, Arizona. Dallas, Texas. Washington, D.C. New York City. And two other places I can't remember off the top of my head. But I was able to go to these major cities and do some awesome things. In Phoenix, I even got to speak at my first ever event in front of a couple hundred people. I was on an e-commerce panel with a few of my friends, Sebastian, Thaddeus, Hayden, and we were able to answer some questions that people had about e-commerce in person. So of course, that's always a great experience meeting people that respect me on YouTube in real life and then being able to help them in a person-to-person -person situation. And number five, probably the biggest thing that has impacted me within 2018 has been the ability to help hundreds and maybe even thousands of people make money online. This is my boy Tanner, his videos helped me out. I just went from zero to 10K in like one week in the brand new Let's go. So me testimonial, follow hey, my boy, I appreciate use it. it for the ads, everything. I started my YouTube channel last October in the hopes of just helping a few people out. I had no idea if I was gonna make money with it. I just wanted to do it for fun. I started making videos about dropshipping and e-commerce and marketing and helping others. And then it became a little bit more serious. I started to gain subscribers. I started to make a little bit of money from YouTube. I started seeing people get results from my videos. Of course, I'm not going to take all the credit, but a little bit of credit for helping them get to where they want to be. Then I created a Facebook group, Ascent Up and Coming Entrepreneurs. We have over 17,000 members right now. So go check it out if you want to start a business. And then I created my own program. And from there, I was able to see lots of people make money. And no, I'm not here to sell you anything. I just want to show you guys that it is possible. I'm not the only one that can make money with this. There's so many other people that make money with e-commerce. And some of my students that I had in my program now make more money than me with e-commerce. That's just how it is. I can't always be the best in everything and I will never claim to be the best in anything because there's always room to learn and to grow. So being able to have people join my program, start making money, even people that aren't in my program make money from the help of me has honestly given me a boost of motivation to continue doing what I'm doing, you know, helping people financially and helping them start their business and change their life. So I'm so glad I started this YouTube channel and I appreciate every single one of you for supporting me and watching my videos. So I wanna personally thank all of you guys again. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Once again, I appreciate you all. 2018 was a great year and 2019 is gonna be even better. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.